Okay, attempt number two at making this video. Um, the last one, audio didn't sync up properly. So hopefully this one will be alright. Rant time. And this one's about a few topics. Uh, the first one is, I, um, I went to the shops earlier just to get some milk and stuff. And I came out and lo and behold, there was an idiot waiting for me. But this was no ordinary idiot. These were three. Two kids and a parent. The parent I didn't see for a little while. Now the two kids were smoking, and that was enough to get my uh, the bile starting to rise, that kind of thing. And these kids were no older than my brother, who is 15. In fact, they were smaller than him. They looked younger, but I give them the benefit of the doubt. That's not the point. The point is, mother came out, and she looked about as clever as oh, she looked a couple of apples short of an apple tree, basically, and. She was rummaging around in her pockets for something. She could see the kids were smoking, which annoyed me again, even more. And I thought she was going to snatch the cigarette out of her kids' hands and uh, either take them to herself or throw them away. But that's not what she did. And what she did annoyed the hell out of me. She took a lighter from her pocket and lit the kids' cigarette. cigarette. What the hell? You're allowing, you're helping your kids to smoke. Wouldn't it be easier and less painful to put a gun to their head? A lot of them having cough out their own lungs after years and years of smoking. About if they have kids, letting their kids and family go through the pain of losing a loved one. I mean, I lost a family member through asthma, and her asthma was caused by her working with people that smoke. And the reason she worked there is because she couldn't get another job. And she had to put up with that for God knows how many years. And it killed her. I mean, for God's sake. So that annoyed me. And they wandered off in some direction to do whatever they're going to do. I don't really care. I don't really care what they're going to do. But no. So I carried on walking. And a few seconds later, I bumped into idiot number two. But this one was even, what? Well, just as ignorant, I'd say. A mother with three kids who are on bikes. The mother wasn't on a bike because the kids weren't exactly going that fast. Now, mother had two bags in her hand, a cigarette, and a mobile phone. And I don't know how she was doing all these things, but she was doing them. And she was talking on a mobile, occasionally glancing at the kids who were riding on the road. Not just any road, a main road. Where big lorries, cars, everything go. And she was happy with them cycling in between the lanes. I felt like saying, would you like your kids to be a smudge on the road? Or are you just hoping that they have enough common sense to see or hear the car coming? But I didn't. I held back. Hoping they'd turn off. But they didn't. They went nearly as far as I was going. So, I thought that was it. But no. I was walking, it was about a few, two houses away from me, and this car went past me. And I just glanced it over, because it's something that caught my eye. And this guy was on his phone, smoking. A double whammy of idiots. But the double whammy of idiocy. Now, all these people... I reckon they should be either locked up or put in a little section of a community that's made out of rubber and plastic. Something where they can't hurt themselves. Because I most of me thinks that they they live outside because how the hell are they getting out of that house? Because you have to it's a hell of a difficult task getting outside your house. I mean you have to open the door, you have to get all your stuff, you have to remember things. You have to make sure the kids are, if you've got kids are all there, you've got to remember what you're going for. Hmm, maybe they write it down. Or maybe they keep a video for themselves. Huh. Yeah. So, that was a brilliant start to the day, basically. I'm going to relax now and do some animation. Now, my brother's going to help me. He's got into it, which is cool. Yeah, so, bye for now.